Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Cassie Hyder. Well, good thing it's not the worst case scenario, at yeah. least on the nine day. Cassie and I are, or Cassie, Rob and I are feeling some sunshine today, I think. Yeah, yeah you know, and we could see some sunshine. In fact, we do have some sunshine out there right now, but it's kind of mixed in with clouds. But what I want to show you is this video. It was kind of really cool view. Now, this is Jacob, and this is from the air, obviously, and this is from the Moreland fire. So really awesome video of just the views from over Moreland. So that's up there in Woodward County from that huge fire that we had last week. And it actually started to burn up a little bit more earlier this week. But now they finally got a good handle on it. But man, what kind of a cool aerial shot of that. Let's go ahead and go to now to links too. So here are the burn bands. We still have some very hot temperatures we're expecting today and we do have some rain out there right now, but we're not expecting a whole lot. So burn bands still really all across southern Oklahoma and out to the west and far eastern Oklahoma. We are still expecting temperatures to reach around 100 degrees, if not a little bit higher in some locations. So heat advisory for all of northern, central and southern Oklahoma, where at times it could feel up to about 108 degrees. Here's the thing. We do have a boundary in the north and west and some showers and storms that moved into Kansas and now are in Oklahoma and most of that taking place east of I-35, especially just south of Tulsa. But some isolated showers and storms around Perry, Pawnee, really all across uh, Lincoln County earlier this morning, now moving towards Prague into Shawnee. And we also have a couple of isolated showers that were showing up in Oklahoma County. A lot of that kind of falling apart, but another shower south of Okarchi in between Hitchcock and Watonga, a couple lightning strikes up there another lightning strike in that one storm just east of Gracemont a couple of isolated showers showing up in southwest Oklahoma that's going to be the pattern throughout the day today whatever we do get it's going to be very isolated not expecting a wall of water by any means but if you do get the rain, you're going to be pretty lucky. You can see more of a partly to mostly cloudy sky over Guthrie. This is part of our Pike Pass Sky Chem Network. We're at 83 degrees. We've got a south wind at 11 miles an hour. Dew points are in the mid 60s. Temperatures in the low to upper 80s, almost statewide, but where we have had quite a bit of rain, temperatures in the mid and upper 70s. With this southwest wind between about 10 to as much as around 25 miles an hour, you can see where that air of low pressure is. So behind that, we have more of a north to northeast wind between 10 to 20. So the big picture showing the main jet streams well to the north. We've just got this boundary that's going to hang around not only today but into tonight as well. So while rain chances will remain slight throughout the afternoon, it's pretty much going to be the same story into tonight and into tomorrow morning. But during the day tomorrow, we're going to be drying out. So today, if we can work in more sunshine and the rain stays away, temperatures will either reach 100 degrees or a little bit higher. But right now, I think 100 is a safe bet, but the low 100s across southwest Oklahoma, about 98 degrees today in Woodward and the mid and upper 90s across the far east. So for this afternoon, a slight chance of rain and storms across central Oklahoma. Tonight, temperatures drop down into the mid and upper 70s. Overnight and into tomorrow morning, the chances will stay higher in eastern Oklahoma. Tomorrow afternoon, a high of 101 degrees. Now during the day tomorrow, there is a, still a slight chance pretty much statewide of rain and storms. And then tomorrow night into, fr or no, yes, tonight is Thursday night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a long week apparently. Now Friday afternoon, temperatures make it into the, uh, my, something is going on with my show, but you know what? The nine day forecast is gonna show you here. We're gonna skip the dog picture real quick. That was, that was from yesterday. That was Missy, that was Missy. <laughs> <laughs> temperatures in the low and I just for the next couple of days and then we're dropping to about 99 on Saturday is like showing up between every <laughs> graphic that you've made I don't know what's going on with my show right now oh